Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Here we had a fab weekend, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching that UX Removal compilation video today. We've got three patients in this compilation video. Uh, this first patient here, you can see very, very soft wax here. Patients used a lot of oil, they've used some wax softening drops like sodium bicarbonate I would have said because the wax is sort of lightened in colour which tends to happen with uh, with bicarb. Um, but what you can see we managed to get hold of this harder sort of little nugget of wax in the middle and it's just drawing all of this softer material out here so out this comes there we are, you can see that lighter material at the front, much, much darker pieces further in as well. Uh, if we take a look behind that lovely, shiny looking eardrum. So this is what it looked like before the patient walked in. And you can see this is what it looks like after. So a really tiny little piece, but really causing a few issues with this patient here. Uh, so, oh, we're just under a centimeter, just over a quarter of an inch, there we are. Um, you can see that darker section there really clearly. Now wax that's darker tends to oxidize a little bit more so it's uh, it tends to be a little bit sort of harder now this is the second patient in the compilation now we'll talk about darker wax look at the color of this a very very dark color wax um just let you know guys the reason you're not seeing me on screen at the moment is because we're actually um we're actually changing my uh clinic room at the moment which is why i do my little voiceovers in front of a camera uh so i'm going to use one of the other clinic rooms which is uh, which is why i'm not appearing on screen at the moment uh but you can see we've got uh, the hold of this very dark wax very thick thick here very uh, here my goodness me let me put my teeth in thick hair at the entrance to the canal here uh, and we've managed to get that darker piece of wax through just getting rid of some of these very loose wetter pieces of wax here along the canal as well you can see it's just hovering just above them look at the amount of oil in this canal this patient's put a lot of olive oil in this ear canal so you can really see it pooling here deeper into the uh, into the ear canal itself it does help us because it helps the wax to slide across that skin a lot more easily. It also helps with our grip. You can see quite a long piece there uh, on that wax as well. Um, sometimes if patients have over softened, it can be a little bit more problematic just because you have to work much, much closer to that patient's ear canal walls, which we all know can be quite sensitive uh, in some cases, especially the deeper in you go. Uh, but we're just clearing up and just tidying up around the outside edges. There we go. So all come away very very nicely let's take some of this excess oil away there we go and uh, there's a little bit you can see just how much oil. look at it all it's literally leaping off the canal wall into the suction there just getting rid of some of the uh, little bits of dead skin now the blood vessels you can see oh, i'll go back to it now there's what it looks like before there's after the blood vessels you could see there on the canal walls not unusual it, you, it doesn't necessarily mean uh that the patient has had an ear infection uh sometimes the skin can get a little bit aggravated in there especially with wax rubbing back and forth as well the blood vessels are, are very very close to the surface of the skin and the skin is very very thin so it does mean that sometimes you will see these blood vessels all coming to the surface and the same can happen sometimes on the eardrum as well so uh, sometimes you'll see the uh, blood vessels will all start appearing on the hammer bone uh, just because it's getting pushed a bit further towards the surface of the skin so we've got this very hard lump you can see we're just lifting from the base of the canal we took the softer stuff a little bit more soft wax there around the outside edge now that's the piece of wax that the oil is coming into contact with so the wax softening drops are coming into contact with that particular part of the uh, the wax and softened it right up then you get to this harder section in the middle which is where the drops didn't quite penetrate into the central portion of this wax plug so we're just going to hold on to this section let's see if we can pull this down it looks as though this one's just that little bit longer doesn't really want to budge now what we will do uh, it's been it's been a couple of days since i've done this but i think we go over the jobs and there we go so sometimes when you get these longer pieces like this sometimes it's easier if you can get behind them to pull them forwards with a jobs and horn if not sometimes it's easier to break the front section off the wax take that out and that gives you a little bit more room to maneuver with that slightly longer piece further in now this one hasn't broken away so imagine to pull this next section of wax down there we go out that comes just popping that into the bowl of the ear let's lift it up with a suction it was a, a little bit of difficulty there it doesn't want to come up with a suction there we go so there's that piece of wax just kind of uh got a little bit closer to it for you to be able to see and uh, if we take a look behind that we can see already there's another piece further in so let's take this section here from this right hand side and then we've got that central portion of wax sitting right on top of the eardrum here so we're going to get rid of that uh when we go back in next time just get that a little bit out of the way 
You can see those very, very dense cilia as well. Uh, there we are. Oh, it's coming in way in three little bits by the looks of it. So let's take these pieces here. Can't quite see the eardrum, but I'm sure we will be able to now once we've taken that little piece out of the canal. There we are. Just see the top of the eardrum there. Let's take this bottom section away. Oh, it looks like there may be a little piece further in than that as well. So let's take a look in a second at that. Let's get rid of all these pieces. These are very crumbly, dry pieces. A lot of little bits all stuck together on this one. Right, now we're looking right down on top of the eardrum here. So if let's have a good look. Let's get the lay of the land first of all here. So we can see how the wax has gone right down on top of the drum. So really impacted down in there. So let's very gently hover over this wax. And we're going to try and draw it, there we go, to the suction. You can see that flick straight off the, uh, the eardrum there. So that's another piece gone. Looks like there's still more to the left-hand side. Let's get rid of that piece. Now this piece to the left hand side here and to the bottom, you can see how, the, see how the wax is moving. That top piece just jumped towards the suction. So we don't always have to kind of plant the suction on top of the wax. Uh, sometimes if we hover just above it, it'll draw the wax to the suction itself. So we're just taking this deeper section here. There we go. Out that comes all the way down. Look how big that piece was. And that was resting right up against the eardrum there as well. So you can really see why this patient would have had uh, quite a bit of difficulty with their day-to-day -day hearing here. So we're just coming to the end of this wax removal now. We're just taking these looser bits uh, that are just broken off right at the entrance to the canal. There we go. And that bit. There we are. Let's take a look behind us there. Oh, there's a sneaky little bit just there. Can you see it at the top left-hand corner? So we're going to switch down. Let's go into the fine end now. We can uh, we can get that comfortably then uh, just underneath the handle of the malleus there. Let's hold. There we go. And pull that bit out as well. Out that comes. So now we've got rid of all those pieces that were physically stuck to the drum. Don't forget, when they're stuck to the eardrum like that, it's going to cause a few problems as far as their hearing is concerned, mainly because the, the eardrum itself, very, very thin, thin layer. Uh, it's going to, you know, it can't vibrate particularly well. Now, you'll see there's a piece there that's just above the handle of malleus. Now, because that's where the handle pokes through the top of the eardrum, I'm going to leave that bit there. Next time a patient has bath showers, that's going to work its way out because all the other wax that was holding it in is gone. So we've got four and a half centimeters centimeters uh, one and three quarter inches um, yeah the reason I left that little bit there it's very sensitive the skin is very thin at that point to be able to take that off effectively even if you hovered over it that didn't look like it was going to come away easily much more pleasant for the patient and much safer for the patient if we just let that come away on its own with uh, with general sort of migration off the eardrum as well so uh, last patient here now very very soft wax again here at the entrance nice short and sweet one to finish the end uh, of this video off for you today guys so we're just just giving this a little bit of a wiggle. Oh, you may have seen us advertise on Facebook. We are looking for another audiologist. Uh, so if you are an audiologist or you watch these videos and you fancy a change of scenery, then by all means contact us. We are a lovely team and we would love you to come and work with us. So we would love to uh, hear from any audiologists out there who will be interested in coming along and uh, doing some work for us. That would be absolutely fantastic. So uh, you can drop us an email at info at audiologyassociates.co.uk and uh, drop us your CV across and we'll take a look. Um, yeah, so we just get this last little bit out here. Lots of uh, skin around this one. Just nipping this last little bit of dry skin. Look how that is peeling away. There, you can see it. I'm just dropping over the top and peeling backwards. The reason I'm doing that rather than peeling upwards is because this would peel all the way down to the eardrum, I think, if we did that. And then we're at the risk of bleeding and getting this in a really awkward position. So I'm just clipping this off above the skin there it's all come away there's the eardrum there looking nice and healthy so this is what it looked like at the start and this is what it looks like now so very very different and lovely shiny eardrum there so a uh, half an inch one and a half centimeters my god the inch is quicker than did centimeters there <laughs> something's finally clicking i think so uh yeah lovely ones to do there guys i hope you enjoyed that video as much as i did voicing it over as always guys take care of yourselves take care of your ears and by all means take care of one another and i'll see you again for the next video all the best guys bye